All right, everyone, welcome to No Man's Land episode 33. So off camera, all I've done in between episodes is finish the harvest, finish bailing the straw, and I did actually just sell off the straw. And I fast forward a little bit of time um, as well, just so we could be ready to harvest some more stuff. I sold it for 38 bucks. It's not great, um, but I kind of wanted to just get it off the field so we can start working the field soon. And I mean, honestly, it's only a couple thousand dollars difference and we made 12 grand off of it anyways. And I'm going to keep track of how much we make this episode because we're going to make a lot of money today. Uh, we're sitting at 49,000 after selling those off for 12 grand. We are about to sell some silage, not for this price. We are going to sell it for, um, I think what I'm, what I'm going to do for uh, Stafford, our normal price that we sell it at is going to be close to the 190. I think we normally sell it like 185 and that's what I usually sell it at. So uh, we're going to sell these to Stafford's Rocky Hilltop Farm for 185 per thousand liters. Plus he's going to pay us an additional 50 bucks a bale. And I think that's fair because otherwise we would just wait. The deal with him is um, how many bales does he need? He needs, um, let me see, 30 bales of silage. He said he'd pay $50 more per bale. So, I mean, we can, if we wanted to, we could just wait until the price is better and then sell it to them. But that just doesn't make sense. He will happily pay that extra there for it because that's what we'd end up selling him for anyways. And his goal is to pay us a little bit extra compared to what we would normally get for it. So that just kind of makes a lot of sense there. So um, this is 24 bales. Then we'll have to come back for the other six. Uh, but that will sell off some of our silage right now. And then we do need to finish picking up the silage bales because we need to harvest the grass and get that all taken care of. Um, we'll start driving up towards the farm. I actually think this will be a quicker way to go this way. Um, in addition to that, we have our grapes ready to harvest over here. So we need to harvest our grapes. And I think I'll do that in the form of a time lapse using our little handy dandy grape harvester. I'll probably use our little Landini there. Um, we honestly could pay off the Landini and that little cultivator if we wanted to, but I'm gonna hold off on that for now. Um, we need to plant some barley because we're gonna do some barley. Um, in terms of a contract, where was that contract at? That was for uh, Martin Broders. He needs 20,000 liters of barley. Now off of our harvest of oats, we got a total of 48,000 liters of oats or just over that. So that is quite the harvest of oats there. Well, I should just cut through here. I know I'm just driving through grass, but that is quite the harvest of oats, which is impressive. So if we got 48,000 liters doing um, these three fields, I think we just need to do like maybe this one with barley. And I think we can do whatever we want with those two fields over there. I think that'll be just fine. So we'll just do one field of barley and I think we'll get more than 20,000 liters off of that, no problem. Um, hopefully it always will be short on the contract. I'm sure he'll buy whatever we get, but uh, yeah, so we're gonna do that. Um, that's gonna be what we're gonna end up getting done. Uh, we do need to get some hay bales as well for Stafford. Stafford requested um, hay bales as well, I believe. Yeah, 30 bales of silage and hay. So he needs 30 silage bales and 30 hay bales to feed his cows. So we do need to get 30 hay bales done. So our current, uh, grass harvest. We're going to do some hay bales with it. And we don't have any weeds in there. That grass is clean and good to go. And the reason I mentioned that is because we have another contract. Um, I, I saw an ad online. Um, the local construction company that's getting ready to do some highway work and putting some highway needs some um, certified weed-free hay bales so they can kind of use them and kind of spread them out a little bit in terms of um, getting some stuff. So 30, 72 certified weed-free hay bales. Um, yeah, so they need 72 of those guys. They're going to pay us... Um, the weed free heavy at 1.75 times the best rate. And um, they also need some lime. They need 30,000 liters of lime. Um, I'm not sure if we'll be able to provide them all the lime, but at a minimum, we'll be able to get the hay bales out to them. So I called them and I said that we should be able to bale those up and get them out to them. So we're going to do just a big hay harvest, I think, um, off of that field. Um, I think that's going to be for the best. Now, the silage bales, I'm just going to put them out here. He's going to use them to feed his cows. So he's going to end up throwing them in there anyways, or at least a lot of them. And then the other thing we need to get done, we need to um, deliver some, if we go down to our production, we have a lot of planks we need to get delivered, so I need to do that as well. We'll just dump these here. Try not to be too much in the way for them, but uh, that should be fine there. And we also need to finish off that contract for Sanguis NOX. He needed the 15,000 liters of oats, which he's gonna pay 40% above the market price for those. So again, we could wait and wait for a good market price on oats, but he's gonna, we're gonna end up Paying, he's going to pay us 40% above a good market price, or at least he's going to pay us 40% above a market price. So instead of waiting until we get a good price and getting 40% above that, he's going to pay us the extra anyways. He's willing to do that, but that's the whole point of him paying the extra. So just like I was talking about with the silage bales for Stafford, um, Stafford's Rocky, Rocky Hilltop Farm, we're just going to get the oats delivered to him now, and then we're going to go for um, what would be a good price for us or a pretty good price for us. So if we go to oats, um, 638, if you look there, is what normally, so we'll sell it to him for $600 per thousand liters, plus the extra 40% on top of that. Um, we don't have that price right now, 
that's totally fair. So we can just get those shipped over to him. And I think what he said is, we're, I think we're just gonna we're gonna get them shipped over here to uh, Lucky's Logistics, and they're gonna go ahead and get them delivered to him. Um, so that'd be good. And again, that was from he had a lightning storm. Um, his oat field burned. His horses that he just started out doing. Um, he needed to have that the oats for feeding his horses, and obviously it was an issue that they all that his oat fields burnt. Um, in addition to that, again, last year he bought 10,000 liters of oats at a 20% discounted rate because he needed the oats last year, but he didn't have a lot of money left over. And this year, now that he's made some money, he's paying us a really good uh, bonus, the 40% bonus um, on 15,000 liters of oats uh, because we were able to help him out last year and give him a really good discount on the oats. So that's that's the whole point. He has the money, he's willing to pay us, he wants to pay us for the oats. So I think that's totally reasonable that we get him shipped out uh, right away so that's the plan that's the plan in terms of that goes um i will get a lot of that done off camera in terms of getting just those deliveries done because that's just me mundanely delivering stuff as needed um any grapes we harvest which you'll see this on when i do a time lapse any grapes we harvest are just going to go straight into um our raisin factory basically is what it is what we're using it for to make raisins because again we need to get 12 i think it's 12,500 liters of raisins um, yeah, 12,500 12, liters of raisins over to the cereal factory uh, to get that squared away. So that's the plan. Now I'm going to grab just uh, six of these is all we need to get the 30 over to Stafford. So, and then I'll drive those up there to his, uh, his place up there. So that way this will be taken care of. Uh, but past that, yeah, the next thing you're going to see is just a time lapse of some grape harvesting. Um, that's going to be the plan. So I'll do that, but in the meantime, um, after I do the grape harvester, before it, I don't know, somewhere in there, I'm going to start selling some stuff off and getting stuff squared away. So that's that's the plan. Um, but anyhow, guys, I will see you guys later on. I'm gonna go ahead and get some of that stuff delivered, sold off, taken care of, and then we are gonna go ahead and continue on from there and hopefully get our sunflowers harvested this year, and we're gonna use the sunflowers just to sell as a cash crop for us, hopefully. So hopefully we get a good price on those as well. But I'll see you guys here after the grapes are harvested. We are making progress. I am delivering a load of the hay bales to Stafford. I already get paid us for our Stafford's hay bales there. So um, our money has gone up. Uh, but yeah, so we delivered the other six silage bales. So I have six more hay bales to deliver after we get these delivered. But yeah, basically what I've done is, well, let that save there. Um, actually, we'll get these unloaded maybe first before I try to do anything crazy here. Ooh, don't hit that smack the silage bales. I thought I was going to smack those for a second. That was almost bad. All right. See if we can put them right next to, probably don't need GPS on right now. See if I can put them right next to these guys, a little space in between. There we go, and that should do the trick. And beautiful. Okay, so yeah, we got those taken care of. So what I've done basically off camera is I've harvested this, um, so that's no longer uh, ready to harvest anymore in, in terms of well, I guess we can do that there we go uh, so that's no longer ready to harvest or anything like that I get that and then we have a lot of hay bales over there so again we're going to get some of those down to the construction company um, I called them and asked them if they'd take like just partial shipment for the the contract and they said yeah 
Um, they said they just kind of buy whatever they need. They put what they needed up there. They said they actually already got the lime in, so they said we can uh, ignore that or disregard that. But um, they said they still need some hay bales, so um, any hay bales that we can get them would be helpful. So we're just, because we're not going to do hay regularly, and I really don't want to do another load of hay, because we make more off of the silage as it is. So I don't want to do a ton of hay when we can make more off our silage. So just what we got uh, left over after we finished Stafford's uh, contract here, we'll be good to go. So again, six more bales are gonna go to Stafford and then we'll take the rest up to uh, basically that construction company that is kind of based over there um, and give them all the rest, that way they're good to go. But um, yeah, so we're doing good. We made a lot of money so far. We sold, again, we sold our straw off for 12 grand. Um, we sold the, the silage bales to Stafford's uh, farm for $20,900. We sold the oats to Sanguis NOX for $12,600. We sold $28,000 in planks because we had some planks. And that was two loads of four pallets. And then we also just sold $9,600 worth of hay bales to Stafford. So we're making progress. We're making good money. That's what, 10, 20, 30, uh, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, almost $90,000. Um, so far this episode, which is really good for us. I did have to lease a tether. Uh, which was okay. I did lease a tether for, um, yeah, I'm going to drive over here. I did lease this guy here. Let's go in the store. I'll show you what I leased. This guy did lease. So I think we're just going to hold on to him. It's only $11,000 for this 6.1 meters. So we'll probably end up doing more hay in the future. I did think about potentially maybe doing, this would actually be a good series to do horses. And if we can get some more hired helpers, we may have to not ride the horses every day. Wink, wink, if you know what I mean. Um, cause that's usually my biggest drawback. And it's not that I don't want to put the work into it. It's just, um, a time thing for me in terms of getting episodes out and stuff like that. It's like I do have a limited resource of time, so I don't necessarily want to waste it riding a horse around the map when I could be doing farming things. So we might have some people. I mean, we could put the horses in right here. Honestly, this would be a good little area, this little grass patch for the horses. But uh, let me know what you guys think of that down in the comments. Um, I am curious about that. So let me know what you guys think. We're still waiting for the sunflowers to be good to go. Uh, so those are going to get harvested next Um in the uh in the in the episode here and that'll probably be what we finish out the episode on is harvesting those sunflowers the one thing i did do as well is over here i did throw down a double layer we can see it here double layer of fertilizer so i always forget with um the manure spreader which i probably can't even click on it down here but we have um, a manure spreader down there not that's not where i wanted to go uh garage this guy so when you spread manure or slurry you can do what's called a double application right so you use basically twice as or not twice as much use the same amount of manure as you would to get two fertilizer states but you put it both down at the same time so basically you're doing two fertilizer states at the same exact time um you just have to drive a little slower with it and it puts down excuse me a lot more manure at one time because you're doing the double fertilization so thank you to farmer t79 for reminding me that was a feature uh because i always forget he's like why don't you do uh double it up that way and i that's a really good point should have done that originally but um Anyhow, and then uh, is this, when do we have to plant our, yeah. So we also need to plant barley. Now sunflowers we're ready to harvest here. So I'll probably wait till here to plant barley. Um, the only reason being because, um, well, well, we can do the, the sunflower harvest at the same time. So pretty sure we planted the sunflowers. Oh, we might have to wait even longer for sunflowers though. Maybe we will just get the barley planted now. Yeah, how are these guys doing? So yes, there, this is forage. So yeah, they should be ready in October actually. So that should be fine. Since they're almost there, they should have one more growth state coming up, and that should be fine. So actually, we, we probably can go ahead and do them. That is a five. We need one more bale, and we'll get these over to Stafford. See, obviously, we don't have 72 bales left on the field after that. But I didn't have, yeah, we didn't have 72 total. So we'll sell them what we have, I think, is what we're going to do, and then we'll kind of go from there. But yeah, so barley-wise, again, kind of like I was talking about for that contract, we only needed, I think, was it 20,000 liters, something like that. I think if we just do this big field over here as barley, I think that'll be plenty good. So maybe I'll actually just plant it right now. It doesn't really matter. I think I'll just plant it right now. But I'll get that planted today, and then uh, I'll look through our contracts. I don't think there's anything else we need to worry about if we just do barley there, and then that'll be basically next year's crop for that field. And then um, these fields here, obviously, this will be grass. Um, again, we'll probably get one more harvest. Maybe not. We did plant it this year, so I actually don't think I'll get another harvest off of this year, but that's okay. Uh, we're doing good financially um, in terms of everything goes. Um, I think next year we may look into investing in a new harvester. Not to say that we're going to get rid of the harvester that we have, but I think that'd be a good way to go about it. So anyhow, guys, I am going to keep getting this stuff taken care of. I'm going to bring you guys back in when it is time to get the sunflower harvest rolling, and that'll probably be where we finish out our episode. So I'll see you guys then. All right, the time has come. Let's fire this baby up and let's get some sunflowers rolling. So I did a couple of things. Um, we'll talk about those in a second here. Um, did a couple of things off camera, of course, as always. Um, 
Yeah, let's get this guy actually just hired. We'll hire our little our worker guy to do that. Over engineer tractor can work on that. Um, but over here, okay, so um, I planted all of these fields. Now, I know we talked about doing barley. So barley's in this field. Now there's weeds here. I need to deal with those in a second. But there's barley here. Canola in these two. So, and the reason for that is we have, if I can pull it up here real quick, we have another subscriber contract. Um, if I can, yep, here we go. Okay, another subscriber contract. So, Hostainer said, hey, FC, I've got a subscriber contract for you. I, op I own and operate a oil mill, and due to poor harvest, my normal, uh, oh, sorry here, my normal suppliers have not been able to keep up with this, uh, or keep up this here, and I'm in desperate need of canola. I need 82,000 liters of canola and willing to pay a premium price for it. If you could help me out, I would much appreciate that. Now, I'm assuming premium price would be like 10 to 20% over the market value, probably. Now, we're probably not going to get 82,000 liters off of these two, so we'll try to fulfill what we can this year, and we can finish out the contract probably next year. Uh, but yeah, so that's what we got going on. So sunflowers are going, that's going. And then the other thing I wanted to mention... Um, I may or may not have bought us a new cedar. So we'll show you guys that one right here in a second. Now, it's this guy right here. It's 12, it, or not 12 meters. It's six meters here. It's six meters for six grand. This thing is also a direct drill. Why do I have super strength on? Must have been moving something in the town. Let's turn that back off. We don't need that. But uh, yeah, so it's six meter cedar right there. Beautiful cedar. Uh, if we go in here, I did think about buying this. This guy was on sale, but I think our other harvester is still a better option. But anyhow, cedars, right here, six grand, direct drill, does fertilizer and seed. I haven't used it to fertilize, to be fair, but it does seed. Um, so, yeah, pretty sweet little cedar. I sold our little, um, we had, I think, this guy that we bought on sale. So I sold it for like 20, or not $2,500, so like, sold it for like two grand. So we didn't get a lot out of it or anything like that. But, uh, yeah, so we have that. Um, I think that's, yeah, that's what we got going on. So, yeah. Um, yeah, we bought it. It is what it is. Now, I think it's a little cheaty for the price. So what I am going to do, and I'm going to do it with you guys here, is we're going to take an additional six grand out of our bank account for it. So we're going to say that that costs us 12 grand and six. I think that's fair. It's a good cedar. I think it's a little cheap for what it is. You guys might disagree or agree, but that's what we're going to do. Now, if we go into the garage as well, if we ever do go to sell the cedar, um, when we sell it, we get a double whatever we sell it for the price because we paid double for it. So that makes sense. But I also don't want to just add six grand. So it's not going to be this plus six grand right now we would sell it for like eighty four hundred dollars extra eighty three sixty six if my math is correct there uh but yeah so it's good good cedar to have we wanted a direct drill and that was a good option for us um so yeah we just have to deal with the weeds now so we have again um over there we have barley growing in well this field over there you can see on the hill this one we have um canola growing and then we have canola growing in that field as well and we're getting our sunflowers harvested which is probably gonna be the thumbnail to be honest because i don't think we need anything else exciting and also, I wanted to note this. I know this is kind of off topic, but look how crazy this hill is. It's not really that crazy, I guess, but this is a really steep hill, actually, that we have to harvest stuff on. And I don't think I ever really... Like, it's kind of hard to tell from this angle, but if you get actually down at the right angle, that's actually a really steep hill for equipment to have to climb. So I just... I didn't even really think about it or notice it. I mean, it's fine. We do just fine with it, but I just thought that was interesting, and I kind of noticed it. I was like, why is my equipment slowing down going up that hill? But that would be why. Uh, but anyhow, yeah, so sunflowers are underway. Again, this is just going to be a cash crop for us in terms of what we're going to do with it. We're just going to sell it um, to make some money. So that's what we're going to do with the, the sunflowers. We probably can move back over to this screen. Then I need to get those guys weeded. Uh, sunflowers, how much are we going to make off this field? Uh, sunflowers. Um, those are actually pretty good prices right now, it looks like. 813. Yeah, 750, 747, 780 is a really good price. Um, dude, that's a really good price. If it 813 is the normal price, we actually might just sell this right off the bat. Um, uh, to be completely honest with you guys, we might just sell this as we get it. Yeah, right now we got we're gonna make some good cash off this actually, which is good. And we're doing good in terms of money because next year we're gonna again want to buy a harvester because that's gonna speed up our process. Cause it took me forever to harvest all this. I mean, it's gonna take forever to harvest this as well. But I think that'll be kind of our next goal. And then after that, we probably need to get well, we need more land. We need more land, which is gonna be important for us. Um, how is our production doing for, for wood? Yeah, so we're going to need more wood to put in there. We have more planks we can sell. Because I want to keep this going. This is what we're going to keep doing with our wood because we're making a lot of money off of that, which is great. Um, yeah, and then in terms of what we have in our in here, we have some oats and corn, which is great. We need that for our cereal. Uh, horses. So kind of things I'm thinking about in terms of investments. Horses are what I'm thinking about investing because we can do hay now and we have oats. The second thing I'm thinking about is more land. Third thing, now this is not in order, by the way, either. This is just things I'm thinking about. 
Uh, Harvester, new tractor. Now, the reason I want a new tractor is because our Massey Ferguson, um, where's he at? Over here, has like 109 hours on it. 109 hours, almost 110 hours on it. And it is costing us a lot of money to repair that. So we'll probably hold on to it for a little bit longer, but we do need to get that replaced um, at some point, I think, because it's starting to just be a little bit ridiculous to have to keep repairing that because it just wears out super quick. And it's, you know, two to three grand every time we have to repair it when it gets down to like 50%. And it gets down there fairly quick. I mean, implanting all these fields, yeah, these three fields right here, um, it went down to 69%, which it didn't take too long to plant those fields, to be fair. So, and I had repaired it right before, if I remember correctly. So yeah, it's something we got to deal with, I think, and I think we'll be able to deal with that just fine. Uh, but yeah, this episode getting this done. And the other thing I was thinking about doing was, and I am going to do this for sure, and again, we can do multiple of the, multiples of these at a time, uh, but once we get to the planting season for grapes, I want to put some more rows of grapes down. Like we have what, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten down right now. I honestly am thinking about doubling it because, well, I mean, let me think. It's about five thousand dollars per row that we have out here. So if we do, I mean, that's fifty grand if I put ten more rows in. So maybe not quite doubling it. But if I could add like six rows in, which would be, I mean, six times five grand, that would only be thirty grand. Um, that would be, I think, fairly affordable with how much money we have now. Um, and I think that would be worthwhile long term for us. We're not making a lot of money off our grapes, but we need to increase the production since it's something we pretty much decided to do. So, um, how many's in here? A thousand in there. And we have two thousand one hundred in there. I wonder why those are not uh, spawning out. Yeah, it should be storing. So they should be spawning out. Be able to move this guy. Interesting. Maybe if we go in here, <laughs> oh, production. I don't know if we have to. Oh, it's weird that it's, it's making us do that. Two pallets. Okay, yeah, that got it to spawn out. I mean, that's not a big deal, but we are starting to get raisins. The reason we want to, we need a lot more grapes is because well, we need to, first off we need to get a lot more raisins uh, because one we have to deliver twelve thousand five hundred liters to our cereal contract, and I would like to start making our own cereal. And I think honestly we're probably going to start making our own cereal first because that's going to make us more money, which is going to help us more than that contract getting fulfilled is, and that contract doesn't have a timeline on it per se, and we are working to get that done. So I think that's kind of what we're gonna end up doing. But uh, yeah, so back over here to our sunflower harvest. Everything's going well in here. Let me know what you guys think and suggestions and stuff like that. I am still taking subscriber contracts and business ideas. Just know I have like 10 pages of business ideas. So I'm not gonna be able to do all of them, but I'm gonna try to do some of them. And sometimes I don't do them and I don't do them in the order necessarily you guys requested them. If I have like six of the same business that was requested, I will do you know, whoever requested it first, I'll do their business first. And if I need a second one of those, then I'll add it in. But yeah, so it's first come first serve in terms of ideas, but sometimes I move them around and do whatever is going to help for the series and stuff like that and the storyline. But yeah, and you might have requested a business on episode one and you won't see it until episode 50 or 60. It just kind of is what it is. So anyhow, guys, I am going to get this done and then I will probably see you guys just on the next one. So anyhow, if you guys enjoyed, drop a like down below. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.